Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Friday, the 4th of September 2015. And yesterday's activity, well, another good uh, pre market uh, session. You can see there's enough volatility there for the PTI signals moving the market uh, back to the upside, where eventually it ran out of steam in the official session, which is the, the white areas there. So initially we see a triple X, which we've not seen for a while, so the volatility must have been fairly quiet on the open for the triple X to be seen. And then the market just trading down that uh, 20 point scalp. Uh, very difficult to even probably get, hoping that the market would move down a bit further, but then uh, reversing and coming back above the uh, 16,450 uh, area there of uh, psychological resistance, the minor one. And then the market uh, moving higher, this time trading up to the psychological level and then uh, reversing, going into the uh, quieter part of the session there and then trading down uh, through the uh, 16,450 once more. And then we see the market uh, trading through the 400 level, then bouncing back and then uh, again through here all the way down to the 16,350 before finding a bit of support and then coming back as well. So all good signals yesterday, apart from the first one, which uh, would have been difficult to have actually grabbed the uh, profit on that one. And also we're hoping the market's going to continue to the downside because ultimately that's where the, the weakness is there. So the market uh, coming back there until it hits the uh, 16,550 level there before moving lower. Now, just before I move off, I had a question yesterday about uh, the parabolic settings and how to actually use them. So this is going to be very brief. Uh, you'll find them under Settings, Parabolic, uh, SAR. And the settings that I use are 20, 20, and 30. And if you look under the PTI signals uh, indicator, you will see um, Set PTI par uh, Parabolic SAR, and that's the default. Uh, setting that is so if I just click on uh, on set to PTI parabolic SAR because the PTI is actually used the parabolic indicator as well and based upon the settings that I've just shown you let me just go back and show you those so you know what they are 20 20 and 25 uh, these parabolics just measure momentum in the market and what they're useful for is when you're already in an existing trade. So, for example, we've gone, uh, we've got a, a short here. Let's look at this one here. We've got the short with the PTI. We've got the red uh, parabolic as well, which confirms the signal. Then the market starts to move lower, and we get two green ones here. Well, these two green ones can alert you to a potential change in trend, but not to be alarmed about it. And what I actually do with these, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of an advanced thing. This and uh, a sort of a, a, I wouldn't say, well, it is a, a, not a secret as such, but uh, something, an observation that uh, I have noticed with this. If you take uh, a 50%, let me just take the check mark out of there, a 50% extension, the market's gone short here and then it's starting to show some green parabolics there. So, what I do is put 50% above the green bars, and if the market can't close above the parabolic in the opposite direction to the trade that I'm in, i.e., short then I know the market's got no strength and then the market continues down. And then you see the market moving all the way down to this level, then it finds some strength. And again here, you can see the market closing, uh, sorry, trading back, but failing to close above the green parabolic. And then the market goes short once more. See, there's a green one there as well. So all the time, I know that the downtrend remains intact because the market's failing even though there are green parabolics there, the momentum starting to change, low volume, uh, but the uh, market's failing to close above the 50% above the first green parabolic in this red parabolic uh, PTI uh, short trade, and the market moves lower. So now you can see that we've got, uh, after that, let me just remove these for a second. So now we see we've got a, a buy signal here. We've got uh, the, the red parabolic there so again the market actually fills the order and then you see it switches to green well on this occasion you can see that the the market's staying green staying green now we've got reds in the up move as well so we've put no it doesn't close below there 
green back to green back to green and uh, then we've got uh, a red one there it doesn't close below there but then we're at the psychological level so we know that we've got the chance of uh, um, the market uh, switching uh, finding support and, and then alter alternatively uh, switching as well and there you can see you've got the red below there and then the market goes short so that's how you can use the the parabolics what they do is they give an indication of momentum in the market just turn that off a second and just move this a bit closer so you can see there we've got the red and in the parabolic we've got the shift so we've got this sort of warning that there is some potential weakness in the market eventually it closes below and then the resistance level there with the red parabolic even though the market's moved higher got a green one there and again the market would fail to close above the 50% above there keeping this new potential short so you can actually trade off them just switching with a 50% uh, retracement and it's something that I will when I get five minutes once the markets are calmed down show you how to do so in combination with the PTIs you can actually uh, read the markets the momentum in the markets and then uh, take positions accordingly just by measuring the strength using the 50% retracement off the opposing uh, parabolic color there right so let's uh, move on to the daily charts uh, you can see the market uh, lower we're we're making we've got the, the the recent high in place now no doubts about that unless there's qe4 then we're heading back uh, to the downside we found the resistance yesterday at uh, 16 uh, 16511 and we're back below that uh, fib retracement we drew in and also the 16435 which was the important one because that's where the selling took place a week ago on monday so the market now looking like it could move lower so what i'm going to do is just to remove uh, this uh, fib line here and i'm going to draw in from the low to this high and watch the 16,000. let me just remove that one for you the 16,116 level that's where the market should find support failing to do that it's going to come down to the 16,000 psychological level big area that 16,000 if you remember from uh, last week so watch uh, watch this area as well the market's still below the two moving averages we've got the death crossing so the market's short predominantly in the background but as I warned yesterday the uh, Fed are going to do whatever they can to keep this illusion alive by moving the market so you it's not going to be a conventional bear market where it goes straight down when we've had the bull market it's just made rising lows but you're not going to get that with this bear market they're going to do their damnedest to keep it alive and uh, that way you will get the sharp up days we had there yesterday and then the day after and then it failed yesterday and now it's starting to show that weakness again eventually the weakness will prevail but in the start of a change in a market from a bull market to a bear market leaving the crash scenario out at the moment then the market will oscillate as the pros offload their stocks to uh, those who uh, don't know how the markets work. And then finally, in the uh, Shanghai markets, uh, just uh, down 0.2 on the overnight implied volatility 21.84, and uh, unusually is actually down on the previous day. But again, it's not retraced more than 50% of the move from around 12 to 30 looks around 35 percent there so there's no way the market's finished on the downside uh, just yet but i have that's it for me for today i will see you in monday's edition of the market alert so again there's enough volatility at the moment for the uh, pre-market session again three point spread but if it starts to get uh, very quiet it doesn't trade above a 50 point range then uh, stand aside as well and one thing I have forgotten is uh, today's economic news item. So let's just uh, have a quick look at those. See if there's anything out. Uh, everything's out at 1.30 today. Uh, Lack is speaking at 1.10. Uh, so you don't want to be in the market when he's speaking because you end up with a bit of volatility. It depends what he's saying about the, uh, the prospect of increasing interest rates for the first time in eight years. He may even touch upon that, which will send the market to the upside initially. Right, that's it. Uh, see you in Monday's edition. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.